Hi, my name is Sunil and I'll be demonstrating the new PUZB Smart Fuel Management System. Fuel management systems help prevent the theft of fuel by only allowing authorised users to access the pump. You can capture data such as which driver has fueled which vehicle, on what date and with what amount. This allows you to find any anomalies and allocate any transactions to any sites or jobs. As a cloud-based system, the PUZB Smart allows you to do all of this remotely and in real time. Unlike most cloud-based systems, there's no annual hosting fees. It works by using the driver's smartphone and sending the data to the cloud. You can set up which drivers can access which pump and view fuel transactions across multiple sites from one online portal. This gives the fleet manager access to their fuel usage from any smartphone, any PC or any laptop anywhere in the world. This saves time on compiling separate reports or visiting separate sites. I'll now demonstrate the BSmart system and show you exactly how easy it is to set up and use. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Okay, so once you've registered to the PUSI portal, you'll now have a username and password. Okay, so what we're going to do next is show you how to set up on the BSmart portal. So step one will be logging onto the portal itself. This will be with the username and the password and also with a site code that is generated and given to you on the purchase of your BSmart product. So once we've logged into the portal, it will take you to the drivers tab. What we're going to do is create a new driver. Click on the create a new driver. It's going to give you the details to pop in. So it'll be myself, Sunil, popping in all of the details as required. The authorization code which we will set as one two three four five six you can set that to whatever you may want it to okay now that is set up what we're going to do is click on to site tab on the left hand side now this as you can see is empty because we haven't set up a site yet what we're going to do next is download the be smart app from your google play or from your app store if you've got a, an ios or an android once the BSmart app is downloaded, we go into it and the menu, the front page will have a driver button and a manager button. What we're going to do on the home screen is click onto the manager button. That will then start searching for a dispenser. Our shows up as the demo BSmart. What we're going to do is click onto the BSmart dispenser and then that will start connecting with the BSmart itself. As you can see, it's now lit up and the blue uh, Bluetooth button is now lit. Okay, so it's connected. What we're going to do is enter our PIN number and this is preset as 123456. So pop in that in. Okay, now we're going to enter our site credentials. Enter the site code, which is again given to you at the, the time of purchasing your BSmart product and the email address that you have set up on the Pusey portal. Ours is set up for our purchasing staff. So that's Sarah at Center Tank. Okay, confirming that. Site code detected. What we're going to do is press next. And it's now updating the BSmart with all the information that you've set up on the portal. So it can take a few minutes. On the app now, it is now showing our Manager's menu. We don't need to do anything with the app now. We're going to go back to the portal. So step three, going back to the portal, what we're going to do is click on the site button. Once we clicked on the site, that should now show the BSmart as set up. We're going to click into that. Okay, so what we're going to do is start setting it up. So we're going to click on the first tab, which is general. Okay, general will show your device name. We can set this up as whatever you want to save your device as. So whether it's the the, the site name, the uh, the dispenser that it is, if it's showing um, dispensing red diesel, for example, white diesel, what we're going to set it up as is the video demo. Then we have the location. This uh, can be the yard that you've had set up or the city that your, your, your uh, dispenser is in, whatever it may be. Third is going to be your manager's PIN code. This was set preset as 123456. For the demo purpose, we'll keep it as the same, but this can be changed to whatever you, you want to save, uh, change it to. 
bearing in mind, you'll always uh, need access to this code and it's a good, good idea to give this to the site manager or the supervisor in case they need to log into the portal or uh, have any overrides. Then we're going to have the date format and the time format. And then we're going to have a tick box for using registration numbers. We're going to tick that and we're going to have a tick box for using a dormitory readings and we're going to tick that. That is just so when the driver fuels up, they can select the registration number and select the odometer reading, uh, odometer readings at each uh, fuel dispense. Uh, then what we'll have is the visual uh, visualization type. So this is choosing what the dispenser shows when it's not in use. It can be time only. It can be uh, the last quantity used, or it can alternate between both. For the demo, we'll use the alternation. Remember to press the save button. Then we're going to go into the second tab, which is pumps. This will default as pump A. You can change this to whatever you want the pump to be. So if you've got multiple pumps uh, and you've purchased the multiple pump, this will be shown as pump A and pump B. We can use this to split as a red diesel and the second pump as white diesel or red diesel and add blue, for example. For our demo purpose, we'll use red diesel. Then we're going to have the status. This will be enabled. You can disable it if you want to. So if the site is shut down for holidays or it's a weekend and the site isn't in use, we can disable it so nobody will be able to access the pump. But we'll have this set as enabled. Then we will have the total amount dispensed. This is a non-resettable total and it shows you how much has gone through, how much fuel has gone through the actual B-Smart. Then we'll have the measurement unit. For our demo, we're going to set this as liters. We'll have the decimal numbers and this we will set to two decimal places. Then we have the Pusey pulse meter. So we can choose the type of meter or we can list the pulse ratio if it's not a Pusey pulse meter. If purchasing the B-Smart Cube MC or the B-Smart self-service, this will be already preset to a K603. Then we have the nozzle input. This uh, is whether the dispenser, use, uh, dispenser sorry, uses a nozzle boot switch. Then we have the type. So if uh, the above is yes, then you'll select either normally open or normally closed. Then we'll have the start timeout and stop timeout. This is the auto cutoff if no dispense is made within the seconds chosen. And finally, we have the level alarm. Uh, input one and two. This is where you can use a CTS alarm or CTS probes and it's directly connected which can give you a warning and then an auto cutoff as well. This will prevent the pump from running dry. Again remember to press the save button. Then moving on to the third tab which is drivers. So this is where you can choose and authorize the driver slash drivers uh, to use the pump. So for example if we have somebody uh, who is not working, we can disable them. Uh, if they are back in the next day, we can enable them so they can start using the B-Smart again. If they are disabled, they will have no access to the B-Smart and they cannot connect. Okay, so we press save. Step five, we will again open the B-Smart app. What we're going to do this time is select driver. So as you can see, we're going to need to Pop in the driver login details. It will ask for the authentication code, which we set as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and also the site code. And we confirm that. This you'll only have to do on your first setup. It can take some time because, again, it is connecting with the B Smart and it is actually updating anything that you have changed on the portal. Okay, so what we're going to do is start refueling. So we're going to select new refueling. The phone will then search for the dispenser. We click on the dispenser. Again, you can see it's now connecting, updating any changes made. The light is on. The Bluetooth light with a blue solid light is on and it will now connect. Once this has connected, it's going to, it says the registration number, it's going to ask me to enter the registration number. As you can see, we have the video demo, which is the pump, 
and red diesel which is the uh the site site name sorry and the the pump name so we're going to set a b c one two three as our registration enter odometer readings this is a brand new vehicle uh we've done two thousand miles in this and we can set kilometers miles or hours for the demo purpose we'll just use miles confirm that we can either do a full dispense or we can preset the amount of liters that we want to to fuel up with for a uh, demo one purpose we're going to preset to 15 liters okay so what we're going to do we're going to lift up the nozzle we're going to squeeze the trigger and as you can see on the mobile device and on the B Smart dispenser, you can see that it is fueling up. Once it has reached the 15 liters, it will automatically shut off. There we go. And now, as you can see on my mobile phone, there is an e ticket. It will slowly generate this. There we go. And as you can see, that e-ticket shows exactly the date, time, the amount dispensed, the vehicle registration, the odometer readings, uh, the driver, which is myself, and the location. This will automatically be sent to the BSmart Cloud database. What we need to do now is press driver home, and your dispense is now finished. So step six, back onto the BSmart portal. We will now look at the reporting. So all we need to do is press report on uh, the side tabs on the left hand side and we're going to press create report. There is filters. If we want to do any filters, uh, we can filter it down to uh, dispensing vehicles or uh, dispensing pumps. But what we're going to do is create a report. And this will either be in a PDF format or it can be exported to an Excel format as well. So we scroll to, to the bottom and our report is there it will show uh, the driver details it will show the vehicle registration it will show the the login type or whether it was uh, through the mobile app or whether it's been used with the manager's override key it will show the time of dispense it will show the uh, dispenser used the odometer readings and the liters dispensed as well so it's everything that you need okay so now we've done the first dispense what we're going to do is a second demo and now we're going to show a full dispense along with the low level warning and a pump cutout as well what we're going to do is we're going to set a low level warning and then a low low level cutoff this will cut the pump and stop it from running dry so again going into the app we're going to click on to driver it will now start connecting to the B Smart device, as you can see, we ch did change the name of the dispenser. It's now a video demo, so we're going to click onto that. So now connecting with the with the B Smart now. We're going to use the same registration, ABC123. Confirm that. As you can see, last entered was 2000 miles. What we're going to do now, I used um, 100 miles, so it's 2100. Okay, so instead of putting a preset amount in there I'm going to keep it as full I'm going to start filling and I'm going to lift up the nozzle once that's engaged I'm going to squeeze the trigger and I'm going to keep refueling once we've re reached the uh, the low level probe it's going to show up as a warning on my B Smart app. This will show as warning one. It will also start flashing on the actual B Smart as well. As you can see there, a low level indicator uh, has been uh, been struck. So what we're going to do now is hit the low low indicator. So the second probe that's in in the tank for an auto shut off. Again, this will prevent the pump from running dry. As you can see on the actual B-Smart, instead of a flashing light, we now have a solid red light. Our pump on the app cut off um, and it's gone to a uh, 
provided a, a, a ticket straight away, an e-ticket. On the dispenser itself, it's showing as A2 error code, which is alarm two. As you can see on the actual B Smart portal as well, we now have uh, an error on the system which says alarms. Okay, so once this has completed, we're going to click on reporting on the actual B Smart portal, create report. This will show the second second dispense that I've done. Again, we can click on the e ticket and it will show the exact same ticketing that has shown um, on the on the app as well. So everything is in real time information. Once I've finished dispensing uh, at the site, once it's finished on the app, it is automatically generated and sent it across to the B Smart reporting, and everything is there to show what has been reported, uh, what has been dispensed, who has dispensed, which vehicle it is, uh, the odometer readings, the registration, and so forth. And that concludes the Be Smart demo. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much.